This is number nine. The radius of Hattie's circular mirror is five and a quarter inches. What's the approximate circumference of this mirror? I'm told this is five. And we're told that the radius is five and a quarter inches. I represent that as a decimal, it'll be easier to multiply. Well, our circumference is this, the sunshine. It's not in the center, it's just the edge, the circumference. So the circumference, our formula for force for circumference. Formula for, for, for circumference C equals pi times the diam diameter or C equals 2 pi r. Well, we're given the radius here. No problem. So we'll use this formula right here. So 2 pi is 6.28. So it's 2 times 3.14 is 6.28. We'll multiply that by times uh, 5.25. Okay, 5 times 8 is 40. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 4 is 14 and 5 times 6 is 30 31 okay we have our units done we're moving on to our tens 2 times 8 is 16 Write the 6, carry the 1. 2 times 2 is 4, and 1 is 5. 2 times 6 is 12. Our 10 is done. And now we're moving on to our hundreds. 5 times 8 is 40. Write the 0, carry the 4. 5 times 2 is 10. Plus 4 is 14. And 5 times 6 is 30. Be 31 again. We're going to add these up 0, 0, 7, 9, 2, 3. Now, we have to be careful here because we do have four decimal points. We have 6.28 and 5.25. So we have to move our decimal points over from this right here, four places over. One, two, three, four. So our answer is pretty close to 33, but it actually... Uh, comes right in at uh, the on our answer sheet we have 32.97 which is exactly what we calculated 32.97 inches let's move on to the next one we have uh, and this is just a, an idea this is just something that shows us uh, how to find the area of a circle, just to review quickly. The area of a circle is pi r squared. And they have pi 3.14. 2 times 3.14 is 6.28. 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. 6.28, 2 pi.
what is the area of this shape? Uh, this shape is a trapezoid, and the formula for the area of the trapezoid is uh, the average of those two sides times the height. So what's the average of these two sides? Three and five. Well, the average would be three plus five. There's two numbers divided by two. We're going to mu multiply that times our height, which is four. Three plus two is eight divided by two. We're going to multiply this times four. And uh, this happens to be four times four that equals 16. And uh, we're talking about centimeters or in a square, centimeters squared. This uh, formula uh, where you average these, uh, let's say this is uh, B1 and this is B2 times your height. B1 plus B2 divided by 2, that's your average times your height, which is very similar. Is very similar to uh, 1 half base times height. And if you look at this, So this is our first trapezoid. We use the we use this one half the base because really you're taking these two bases, B1, B2, call that B times your height. Um, if you make this just a little bit smaller on top, and then you make it a little bit smaller on top. And you make a little bit smaller on top. And you make it even a little bit smaller on top. What you end up with is our area for a triangle. So these, uh, this, this idea is very, uh, well, they're inter interrelated. And of course, you could also do this. You could start here, and you could make the length like this on the bottom. And if we extend the page, you can see that if we make the length like this on the bottom, for all intents and purposes, this B1 is very, very tiny compared to B2. And the area just becomes one half base times height. It's a good way to remember uh, the when you're calculating for the area of a trapezoid just to go right to the one half the base times the height. But you have two bases so you have to add them and get their average. That is related to the area of a triangle.